We're at the table of crap again, with all the crap that's come out of bags, and some stuff that hasn't. Don't worry, though. His fabulous buttocks will look after us today. And we're doing something a little bit different today, because rather than get blind bags, and I do have blind bags, they're, they're in this box right here, but they're for later. Later, darling. Um, I was looking through my house, and I have a lot of crap in my house, as you'd expect. And I came across this. Look. It is a plastic bag from a supermarket. It is quite an old one, as you can tell, with many holes where things have happened. You can see shapes. No, this is a plastic bag I forgot I had. Because in here, and I kid you not, I'm going to move that back a little bit, are pretty much every toy car I ever owned as a kid. Really. So I thought today, rather than opening a blind bag, I'd just kind of look through some of the stuff in here and draw some conclusions about the stuff I owned as a kid and just randomly talk total bollocks. So, yeah. Of course, some of the stuff has been collected since. I don't actually know what it is, so... Ah, like this. Yeah, we talk about it being a kid. When I start, this wasn't actually something that was mine when I was a kid. <laughs> this is a Lone Star. Lone Star Toys. I don't know much about Lone Star Toys, actually. I've not owned many of them. Um, now, I got a box of toys, dinky toys, not very good condition, mostly knackered, and I think, think this one was in there, so it's just gone in the bag, but it's a nice little forklift truck, you know, they, they, don't, they don't really, uh, go back there, they need more room, you know, they don't particularly make them like this anymore, it's even got steering for the wheel on the back, so that's a nice little thing, I would have liked that as a kid, but, uh, yeah, you carry this terrible tank engine and you go there, I've not got much to say on that one. Oh, uh, what's next? Uh, this. Oh, <laughs> two in a row. This one also was not mine. This one was actually my dad's. It's uh, not focusing. Come on. This is one that I know my dad lent me because he wasn't very happy when I found it. But I found it anyway. What is it? It is a Models of Yesterday, 1926 Morris Coley Bullnose, number three. Lensley. Lensley's a company. I think they kind of morphed into Matchbox, but I'm not 100% sure. Anyway, not a toy I had as a kid, but again, a nice little thing for what it is. Quite a bit older than most of the stuff. I, I think this is going to be, you know, 50s, 60s era this. But it, I, I like that. I suppose to look after it, but uh, it, it's got a hoop on its head now. So I don't know how long this video is going to be, incidentally. I'm just pulling stuff out at random. Oh, my God. Oh, OK. As a kid, I had two favorite cars. Um, to be honest, I thought I'd lost both of them, but this is one of them. Um, I don't actually know where I got this from. Focus! It's a Lensley. Again, Lensley Matchbox. 19... Let's have a look. It's a Ford Transit. It's a flatbed Ford Transit. Okay. Uh, 1977 Lensley, but it's a Matchbox super, 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 super fast. I spent so many hours, it still works as well, it's from the 70s and it still rolls, it's brilliant, I love it. I spent so many hours playing with this, especially in school, we had this like mud slope and this one always went down. It was one of the ones that I had that actually had running wheels, I didn't really get many new cars. Um, my dad gave me these, I don't remember when, I assume he either got them from the lost and found at the school he worked at, or he brought them somewhere, but no, that's one of my favourite toy cars of all time, and now I found it, it's going to not go back in this bag. There's like a hundred cars in here, so we won't get through all of them. This is another one of mine. This is a Corgi Porsche Carrera. Don't actually... God, this is... Focusing is really bad. Okay, let's set the camera. So... There we go. So it's going to focus here. This was another one of mine as a kid. It wasn't in much better nick when I got it. I don't know where I got it from. I assume, again, my dad gave it to me. The wheels, they don't go round and it doesn't do anything, but... It still rolls. When at school we had this slope and we used to raise cars down, there were two ways of doing it. If they were free roaming, you were only allowed to tap them and let them go. Or if they were like this, where the wheels weren't to go, you were allowed to flick them. Of course, flicking cars always won. Which probably also explains the condition of this one, because quite often when you flick them, they would flip over and go all the way down. So it does look remarkably like an average Porsche owner's car, though. Flipped a lot. You know, I do believe it's raining. Oh, this is memory lane right here. Um, 
No real recollection of this one. This isn't one I owned as a kid. This has come along later on, probably from a car boot sale six or seven years ago. Um, Weezman? It has a lizard on the front. That's probably why I brought it. It's, it the, the, there is a lizard there. It's a Morgan. Oh, actually, who made it? Is it Corgi again? No, it's Siku. Siku's one of those companies that came around after I left school, and, you know, they make toy cars, and they're all right. It's nice quality. It reminds me of this Corgi one, but... You know, with paint and wheels that work. Oh, hoo -hoo, this one. This is just number 414, made in China. This is a very bog standard kind of toy car you get. It looks like a Rolls Royce. I'm going to go with the fact that it's got an R on the back. Is this? It is. Um, this was given to me by a chap called Leon, who was actually one of my school bullies. But he was kind of one of those school bullies who was a bully, but wasn't. Like, if he was with his mates, he'd pick on me. But if he was on his own, he was all right. And he gave me this toy car when I went around to his house once. And I still have it. It's... Yeah, that's die-cast. You know, it's a cheap plastic base, but... The... Yeah, that's die-cast, eh? Yeah, I'll go with that. i go with that. That's all right. Ooh. <laughs> I've got so many stories, just random crap. Okay, so you're probably thinking, Oh, well, the top half of the bus is going to be in the bag somewhere. No, no, it's not. When I was about nine years old, I found this in the gutter on the way to school. And because I liked toy cars, even when they were naff, I kept it. It's a bus. It probably goes to show quite a lot of what I do. Because I'm a bus driver now. British Airways. What, what is it? It's a, uh, uh, it's a non-focusing matchbox, say, uh, airport coach, 1977. So it's the same year as this one, then. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I picked that up from... In a gutter, and I still have it. And its wheels work. That's probably why I kept it. I mean, you could do that as well. It's like, oh, oh, and it was... Ah, oh, you lost. Ah, oh, gosh, no. Please, why am I doing this? I finally hit it. Yes! That's how you drive a bus. Oh, this isn't one of my toys from childhood. This is... Um, Actually, the toy of one of my father's friends from his childhood. It's a dinky. A humble hawk dinky. You know I said I got a box of random dinky toys. This is the only one that came out in any decent condition. It must have just got chucked in the bag. So, yeah, I like it. Actually, it was interesting because it had... And, you know, these are kind of 50s, 60s toys. It had a suspension system. Uh, I do believe there are springs in there that work on this. So that was actually a fairly interesting point at the time. Very nice toy. You know, I, I would have really liked having that as a kid. Would have completely wrecked it. I mean, you can see these, but uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to bother setting the focus. Uh, what's in the bag? No recollection of this. Matchbox. Models of yesterday, 1912. Oh. Uh, the, why am I bringing it to me? I want to bring it. You can't really see it. There we go. 1985. That's it. No recollection of where this came from. Probably just picked it up somewhere. Car boot sale, maybe, and stuck it in the bag. It's a Heinz Pickle. Heinz Pickle. Oh, incidentally, if you were ever wondering, this is sitting on the side is a dinky cobble wagon. Comes with a pack. Uh, 37, I think it is, which is over there somewhere. This has just been sitting on the side randomly here for a while. As soon as we're talking about cars, I'll drop it there. Ooh. This is a Lensley. I remember this one. Um, oh, it actually tells you what it is. It's a... Uh, let's bring it up here. I keep looking at it over the camera. I need to look at it in the camera. It's a DAF by Lensley. The Matchbox series. Patent pending. Okay, I'm going to assume that Lensley were a company that built toy cars. And they probably built more than one scale. And eventually they proceeded forward to build um, Matchbox as a mainstay and drop the Lensley tag. That's what I'm assuming happened. Anyway, this is another one I had as a kid. It's a dump truck. You can see the, the plastic is breaking. Is that plastic on there? Oh, that's plastic. There's a number there. MB47565. That's written there. Yeah, it's a dump truck. And it's a DAF. And I used to play with this a lot as well. We used to transport rocks and rubble around until the schoolyard attendants saw us and told us off. And they always had really bad wheels, though. I mean, a lot of my cars end up like this anyway. But those wheels, the axles are buggered. But yeah, this has seen a very long, hard life with the K1468 registration number. Oh. There's so much nostalgia and memories coming back. I just want to chuck them all down a hill now.
there's quite a lot in here as well, so we're not going to get through. Okay, this is... Um, uh, I think this is just a car boot sale. Fine. This might be another Lone Star, actually. Or oh, was this one not marked? There, it'll be on the bottom. Uh, no, just a patent pending number. I don't know who made that. It's a gun, but actually, just looking in the bag, I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to pull these ones out in Pacific because I know what I'm looking for. There we go. That's almost all of it. One more. One more I got to find. There's a guy, there's another guy. Where is he? Oh, I'm looking inside the bag. I'm ruining all the stuff. Oh my god, I've got to pull that out. Oh. Right, well, the, I'm, I'm sure there's another guy in here somewhere, but I don't know where he is, so. Uh, so I guess it'll have to sit. Okay. These were my dad's. Again. Got a couple of things. You can tell with these ones because he's repainted them. He repainted a lot of stuff. Um, actually, this is the, exactly the same gun as that one. But obviously, this being a Bren gun carrier, you would tow the gun. Now, whether this was the Bren gun carrier from this set, I don't know. Looking at this chap as well, he sits there, looking all painted. These obviously just came in green, but as I said, my uh, father has painted them. Lovely when he was young. It's a nice little toy. Is it painted? Nice little detail. There's another... Uh, he might... This guy might actually sit in the back. I think there's supposed to be three people. Uh, there's a machine gunner there. I'm sure he's in the bag. I had a very quick look in the bag, and I'm sure he's in there. Um, Bren Gun Carrier, a Lone Star product, Modern Army Series. Now, let's just hold on for a bit and think about that. This is a Bren Gun Carrier. This is a painted piece of equipment from post-Second World War to Second World War, and it's labelled as Modern Army. It's also got budgerigar feathers, where you can tell where I have kept it with the birds. That would probably put this at the 50s when this was still in use, meaning that this is a very old toy. And so are these guns. So I just thought I'd pull that out. You know, you pull one bit out, you've got to pull it all out. There's more toys in there than my dad's, but you know. This one. Ooh, is this a Corgi again? Yep. A Corgi. Uh, Bok Regal. Delightful. Made in Great Britain. Yeah, Corgi toys always seem to have these sort of axles and base setups that, with a bit of rough use, they don't spin. Well, I mean, I remember, I had, this is another one I had as a kid, can you tell, the wheels never spun on this, ever. You know, they don't on corgis, they're a bit poopy like that. This one. I think this is another corgi, actually. Is it? Yeah, this, look, it's another corgi. A point, it's another Ford Transit, so it's the same as this. We've got Corgi and Lensley, right? Obviously, this one, this is later. This is a later Ford design. This is an earlier Ford design, you can tell. You know. I mean, they're both die-cast. They're both well-made in their own regard, but this one is from the 70s, and its wheels still turn, and this one is from the 80s, and its wheels are stuck fast. Although they do get bonus points for putting axle detail in the underside. Well done, Corgi. Well done. Okay, so this one that I can barely hold on to is probably the reason I've done this video. I thought I lost this a long time ago. Hey. A VW Golf from 1976, Lindsley Products. This, in school, was my favourite toy car. You can see where the paintwork's gone on the underside from rubbing. This was my favourite toy car in school, and it still is. It's battered, and it's beaten, and it's absolutely crap. But it's got a registration number plate, and it even has a tow hook which broke off long before I got it. I think one of the reasons I like this car so much is because I found it in the playground when I was about, would have been in year four, year five, so let's call it nine, ten, in amongst tree roots. Tree roots, and I found it, and I've kept it ever since. And that's this one isn't going back in. These two are not going back in the bag. These are going on display somewhere. Oh, I used to do that all the time as well because obviously they'd break down because it was a VW. These two are going somewhere special because sod it. There's still quite a bit in the bag, um, but we have going quite late, so we start running through them with things I recognise. This is the one I had as a kid. The base plate's coming off the bottom. Um, again, I assume my dad got them from school. Uh, 
this is a mod rod number one. As you can see, it's a real cool running car. Looks a bit like a Lamborghini. But as I said, it's it, it's knackered. This is another one of my favourites from school. Not as favourite. Again, I think my dad just picked this up for me. Uh, a wreck truck. This is for Rex. 1978. It would have had the hook on the end that you could actually tow. I've seen these before, but it doesn't. So again, you know, when it towed in school, it was just that. That's how you tow things. I quite like that one. Um, this is also another one of my favourite ones. This is probably my third, third favourite one. You know, first, second, third. I think this one will stay out as well because the back door is open. Well, yeah, they open, so you could actually pretend that there was somebody dead. But you dial 911 and get a paramedic. This is Matchbox again. Uh, no date on the... Oh, 1977. So, yeah, Matchbox and Lensley. See, this one doesn't have Lensley written on it. This is just Matchbox. So this is probably where the transition came in. <laughs> uh, you get cheap toy sets. This is a cheap toy set. Amazingly... International Airlines Cargo, the famous airliner of the world. Still works absolutely fine, considering how old it is. It, it, so much. Just uh, Fire engine. I think I had this one as a kid. It's in really good condition, considering that. But pretty sure I picked it up when I was about 12 or 13. Because I was buying toy cars at that point. Again, it's a, a, a matchbox. But it feels an awful lot cheaper than, say, these ones. These are good heavy metal feel. This is cheap feel. Still, it's a matchbox. Um, another one of my dad's. Uh, there's a little guy in there. A little airfix soldier. Uh, a ferret scout care. Lensley. So the same company that made these. But again, this would be much older. These are probably 60s, 70s sort of era. Nice little thing. Wouldn't have gone down well with me as a kid. Uh, oh, this one. I remember this. <laughs> wow. Cheap toy car made in China, 95. It is metal. It is die cast, I think. Is it? Actually, I think it... No, it's plastic. Okay, ignore that. Is it? Tastes like metal. Anyway, I just put that in my mouth, didn't I? It's probably lead. Um, I won this in an arcade. It was like 50 tickets, and it was all I could afford. So I brought it, and I still have it, and it is terrifyingly bad. But it has nostalgia! I think somebody brought this for me for my birthday once. These are old Matchbox. These will be like 2000. This is probably brought from Woolworths. The same place that you buy these from. Uh, oh. Another Corgi. Uh, Corgi Junior. A Buck Regal. So basically the same car. Just one's a police car and one's not. I always used to press that button and hope it would do something. Weewaw, 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 weewaw. Yeah, I'm really stupid. Um, just looking inside the bag, is there anything else I actually had as a kid in here? Oh, this one. Didn't actually have this as a kid. This was given to me when I was 16 by my dad. Oh, this is the Mezzo. So this isn't a Matchbox, this is a completely different company. And I asked my dad why he gave it to me when I was 17. He was like, yeah, I didn't want to give it to you when you were a kid. Why? Because you'd wreck it. He's odd like that. It's a Ferrari of some kind. It's nice. I would have wrecked it as a kid. It feels rather cheap. Um, I don't think there's anything else of major interest in it. Oh, no, this one. This one. I think this is the last one we'll look at. I'll have a quick look in the bag, but I don't think there's anything else of major interest in there. Another Corgi Matchbox. Again, Matchbox 1980. So a bit of a later Matchbox. Again, if it was a little bit cheaper than these ones, the base is also made of plastic instead of metal, but it's got a tow hook. It's a police car. It's got a registration number as well. Wee wah, wee wah, wee wah. Pull over. Never. Why not? Because I'm a Ford Transit. Wee. Wow. Anything else I had as a kid? No, these are all just sort of extra bits and pieces I picked up. Uh, I had that one as a kid. Didn't have that. Had that. And had this one, I believe. Right, three more and then we're done. Promise. This is, God, this is a long video. <sighs> Cheap. Toy car, China. Made in China. Still got better axles than half those corgis, because at least these wheels still turn around, even if those don't. Is What's this? Oh. Oh, wow. This is Hot Wheels. This is 1978 Hong Kong Mattel Hot Wheels van in remarkably not good condition. 
It's one of the only Hot Wheels I have. Spoiler alert. And finally, don't remember where this one came from. It's been painted on. I only just noticed that. Been painted on. In fact, actually, it looks like it's been painted over. This is a Matchbox, I think. Actually, it might just be a no brand. I thought it was a Matchbox. Well, I had this in school, and again, much like uh, the, the tipper truck, it carried rubbish around. You know, you'd sort of tip rubbish into each other and then realise you dropped it on. You failed at everything. And yeah, the, the rest of the stuff in the bag is not stuff I had as a kid, so I'm not going to go over it because this video is way too long anyway. Oh, except for this lorry. I had two of these. This is one of them. I don't know where the trailer is, but it still works. Yeah, well. <laughs> that was a ride of nostalgia that actually made me quite happy. As I said, these three, they're going somewhere. I'm, I'm going to put those over there. And maybe this one as well. I quite like that one. The rest of them, I'm going to go on eBay and find a full one of those, I think. And the rest of them, I don't know. Probably I go back in the bag and rot behind my bed like they have for the past so many years. <laughs> oh, isn't it great to forget about your bloody childhood?